Hey folks, it's me back again. Uh, right, uh, if you watched my previous videos, um, you'll see that I've done a couple of videos on these um, Atlantis Proline 7 fry pans, which I have two of, the 28 and the 32 centimeter models. Um, but a few days ago, I picked this up. Uh, this one, this Industry 5 32 centimeter version uh, for a really good price on the secondhand market. So I thought, okay, well, let's just pick it up, have a play with it, use it, see how it is, um, and just do a comparison video. Uh, and, uh, and afterwards, um, I'm going to put this back online for sale um, because well, I just simply don't need it, um, you know, as, as I, I already have these Proline pins. All right, so um, let me answer the question that, um, that you you probably want to hear and that is uh, which one would I personally choose based on my experience over the last few days with the Industry 5 and um, my choice is very clearly the Proline 7 okay this one here and um, and yeah I'm afraid to say it's it's not even close okay it's not even close um, you know, for me this is by far the better pen you know just for my personal use and um and i'll talk about why as we go in the video uh which which it sounds a little bit harsh because the industry 5 is still a very premium product okay it, it sits one tier below the atlantis or the proline series um but it's still it's still a very premium product okay so i'm not saying this is a bad product in, in any way okay All right so let's again let's just get the paperwork out of the way uh, basic specifications and pricing. So let's first talk about pricing. Uh, the Industry 5 32 centimeter model, uh, anywhere between 110 to 150 euros, depending on if you got a good deal or bad deal, or where you get it from, blah blah blah. Uh, so 110 to 150, that's kind of the range. And uh, the Proline 7, uh, around 170 to 200 or a little bit over 200 euros. Okay, so the there is a, well, a fairly um, noticeable price difference between the two. Okay. So next thing, the size. Uh, these all come in the same series of sizes, okay? And um, and the design um, is really the same. I'm just talking about the, the you know the, the part the pan here, um, not 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 the handles. So these are both. 32 centimeter pens and you, you can see this one looks a bit bigger because it's thicker but uh, the design is exactly the same okay um, if I just quickly grab the ruler um, and on both of both of these pens you get approximately 26 ish centimeters of cooking surface flat cooking surface okay and the point I made in the previous video where I reviewed the Proline 7 is that these pens are very, very big for their size, for their diameter, okay? So you really need to be careful and make sure that these pens are not too big for your hob, especially if you've got an electric hob. Uh, and that's especially important with this Industry 5 because it is much, much thinner than the Proline. And if you have a hob that's too small and you put it on a very high heat, um, I'm not confident that the pen will not warp. Um, I'm going to talk about the thickness in, in, in a bit. Uh, so that's really important, especially important with this Industry 5 model, okay, because of the much uh, thinner thickness of the pen. And the other point I want to make with the size is that um, if you find the 32 centimeter model is too big for you uh, or too heavy, um, it could be that a 28 centimeter model, um, which is this one here, is going to be big enough for you 80% of the time. Um, I said in my last video, uh, 8 out of 10 times I use the 28 centimeter model um, just because, again, this is very big for a 28 centimeter model. And this is uh, almost as big as your standard all clad 12 inch skillet or 12 inch from uh, you know any other brand um, so it could be that this is going to be big enough okay all right put that aside 
So the weight, all right, weight of these pads, uh, this one, the Proline 7, 2.74 kilograms. Very, very heavy, okay? Um, you, yeah, you, you normally don't find a stainless steel skillet this heavy, okay? This is really very heavy, uh, which, which I like, which is an advantage to me, uh, maybe a detriment to some other people. Uh, this is, a, yeah, this industry, this is a lightweight compared with the Proline 7, okay? In my hand, this one feels at least 1.5 1 times or even twice as heavy as this. On, on paper, it's not, okay? On paper, it's about 30% heavier, but you know it feels twice as heavy when you pick it up like that. And but this is you know the 1.9 kilograms is it's, it's kind of a typical weight for a pan this size. Um, but I would say maybe it's a little bit on the light side because of the just of the wide cooking surface. Um, but this you will not say this is a light pan, but compared to the Proline 7, it, this is a lightweight. <laughs> okay, this is much lighter than the. Seven. And the thickness. Now this is um, yeah this is one point where I'm a little bit uh, I guess disappointed because well you know I, I've been using this Proline Seven for a while and I'm very used to the weight and the thickness. So the thickness of this is four point eight millimeters, which is extremely thick. Um, and again, you I, I I don't know if there's another uh, stainless skillet or fry pan that's as thick as this. I may be wrong, but uh, yeah, you'll be it, it'll be hard to find one that's this thick. And this is about um, well, Demeter says this is I I I don't know the exact number, two point eight or three millimeters. But to me, it feels thinner, uh, or and it looks thinner than. 2.8 or 3 millimeters. It could be because of the wide, very wide diameter in the cooking surface. It makes the pan look thinner than it actually is. Um, but um, yeah, I'm not really sure if that's the Demeter's claim is accurate because see, when I when I do this, I, this is okay. This is not that scientific. But I'm only getting about 2.5 millimeters. Um, and that's been a little bit generous. Uh, so I'm a little bit yeah, disappointed with the thickness of this pen. Um, it, it, it just feels very thin. Okay, that, I mean, that's just my personal opinion. And it could be influenced by the fact that I, you know, like I said, I've been using this one, a pro line for, for, for a long time. Um, but just as a comparison, this is an Industry 5 Rondeau. Okay, so 24 centimeter. Uh, saute pan rondo, whatever you call it, uh, and, and it's a pan that I really like. Okay? This feels, this feels, I have to say, much much more solid and, and also thicker than this. And if I do the same thing with this pan, right? um, this is actually about two, I'll say two point eight or closer to three millimeters. So this it looks thicker, it feels thicker, and it looks thicker on the ruler as well. Okay, so that's um. So I can't say I'm a huge fan of the thickness of this um, of this pan. And if you listen to the sound, right, listen to this. Okay. And now listen to this. So I think the sound itself just it tells a pretty, pretty convincing story. All right. All right, so next I'm gonna talk about cooking. Okay. And this is again, another reason why, you know, the clear choice for me is the Proline 7. Now, on my electric hob, the biggest electric hob, which is still very undersized for the pen, uh, for these pens. So there's about a two cent centimeter ring uh, that's not covered. Okay, so I have to be really careful with not, you know, blasting it on very high heat. And uh, the first thing that I notice um, throughout the cooking process is this pan it heats up much faster and it cools down much faster than the Proline 7, which is not a surprise, obviously, because this has 30% less thermal mass, okay, so it's 30% lighter, so that's expected. Okay. Um, the second thing that I notice straight away is that the mailer talk about you know the flat base stability. Um, but I didn't see that on myself. With this pen, with this Proline 7, the base remains perfectly flat. Okay. With this pen, even while medium heat, um, 
as it heats up, the oil starts flowing out to the side. So there's, there's an area of about that size in the middle of the pan where it gets very little oil because it's, it's, as soon as the pan heats up, it just the oil just flows to the side and that is really annoying. Um, for two reasons. One is obviously, well, you, the oil would flow into the side and it doesn't look very good. And the second reason, reason is that if you measure it with a thermometer, infrared thermometer, um, it, it, it no longer reads the temperature accurately in this area because there is so little oil. It always underreads. So I constantly had to use a spatula to you know, try to mix the oil in the pan. So no, I was not expecting to see that from a, you know, a premium product like the Industry 5. Um, I, had a, I had a 30 centimeter IKEA pan that didn't even do that. So that was a little bit disappointing to see. Uh, the heat distribution with these two pans is about the same. You know, it, it's always much better on a gas cooktop or on an electric top if you're, um, you know, if the hob covers the whole base of the pan. Um, but because mine does not cover the whole base of the pan, uh, on both of these pans, I get about a 40 to 50 degree difference um, from the center to the edge. Um, but it gets better as, as you know, as the pro cooking goes on and you know when you put more food in the pan um, but there was no, uh, no noticeable difference in the temperature distribution uh, the next thing is the there's the actual cooking of the food okay so with this I put the exact same amount of vegetables in each of these pans now I'm just sorting some green 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 leafy green vegetables with a pro line on the same heat setting obviously on the same heat setting with a pro line, the pan was able to maintain a very nice sear sizzling sound, you know, the, maintaining the sear uh, continuously throughout from start to finish. Okay. But with this industry, with this much lighter industry, however, on the same heat setting, it was sort of able to maintain that sound for the third, first 30 seconds or so. And it, it didn't even do that very well because the sound that I heard was ha kind of half sizzling, half steaming. And after about 30 seconds, it just started to die down. Okay, and um, and I didn't have that much room on my on, on the hob to 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 raise the temperature because I was already at 80 percent of the highest heat setting available. So that's one thing you've got to be mindful with this lighter pan is that you have to be careful not to overload the pan, otherwise the food will steam or start to steam. And it is, you know, the capacity in terms of the searing is much, much higher with a ProLine, okay? And I would even say it's disproportional um, uh, when you consider the 30% temperature, uh, sorry, when you consider the 30% weight difference. Okay, it seems that this ProLine can handle much, much more in, you know, relative to that weight difference. And in the last video, I, I said that um, you know, even with a 28 centimeter model ProLine, I was able to beautifully sear 10 chicken drumsticks. And that's a pretty heavy load, you know, 10 chicken drumsticks, that's, uh, what is it, a, kilo, a kilogram or maybe even more medium-sized chicken drumsticks. And I, 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 I just can't see it in this pan. So maybe this pan will need to reduce the quantity by half if you want to maintain that, um, maintain that sear. Okay. And, um, oh, I think I skipped ahead uh, one topic. I also want to talk about the handle. Okay, so let's do that now. Okay, I'm not going to bother refilming this video. Let's just talk about the, the physical construction. Um, all right. So the yeah, like I said, the dimension is the same, um, but also you can tell from the handle that this ProLine is a much is a more premium product. Uh, the handle on the ProLine, both the main handle and the helper handle, uh, the finish is nicer. It's polished. It's smooth. Uh, this one has a rougher texture. Um, but neither handle, for me, uh, and this is one slight dislike about these pants, is neither handle for me gives me a very secure grip. I just find them a bit too a bit too slippery and uh, a bit too narrow uh, the grip on the industry is obviously easier because it's a lighter pen um, 
but the handle is is a bit it's a bit flatter than the pro line so yeah so in that sense it does give you a little bit more grip but not significantly so and uh, also the helper handle the finish on the helper handle on the industry is not as polished or as um, or that doesn't look as premium as the pro line okay um, but again that's to be expected because this is a slightly lower end uh, lower end product line uh, and the one thing that I always dislike about all the handles on the Industry 5 is that they yeah just they, they just stick out a bit too much uh, extend too much from the side of the pen so I don't know why they had to make this so so big so anyway uh, just one quick point about the handle all right so in summary oof, like I said in the beginning of at the beginning of the video my choice very clearly without a doubt the proline 7 okay and that's um and, and that's also because i like heavy pens i don't mind it um if you really don't want a heavy pen then the industry 5 is still going to be a very good choice um you know it's a premium product for a reason okay so it's not saying it's a bad product it's just uh, it's just saying i'm just saying that the proline for me is a is it, it, it's much better to use you know in my personal case and um and the, as the one thing that you just got to be careful of is um like i said make sure the hob is not too small uh and also if you want to maintain a good sear be very careful that you do not overload the pan uh, or you need a you need a stove preferably a gas stove or induction that can give you a very fast response um, to heat changes and when you want to change the heat setting okay so the, the moment that you so what you know you, you put your food in you listen with your ear listen to the sizzling sound the moment that you hear the sound start to drop off um, you need to be you need to raise the heat and your stove is is what has this your stove uh, also needs to be able to give you that instantaneous um, increase in heat Otherwise, your food is gonna start steaming. Okay. Uh, so in that sense, the Proline for me is also an easier pen. It's a more friendly pen to use because it gives you a, a larger margin for error. And that was, you know, in my cooking test, and that was very easy to see. Okay. But um, but what would I personally recommend um, if you really don't want the thirty big heavy Proline Seven? My first choice, my first alternative, would actually be the 28 centimeter per line set. Okay, this is 2.4 kilograms, so the 28 centimeter model of the Pro Line 7 is still heavier than the 32 centimeter version of the Industry 5. Okay, and this is able to give you that really beautiful sear. Um, it's able to take a much higher load um, compared to this 32 centimeter. Industry 5 uh, and it's not also not uh, the weight is between it's somewhere in between this is 2.4 okay so it is heavier than the 1.9 but it's lighter than the 2.7 so this could be a good compromise um, and the size like I said before is also big enough um, that I think it's going to be enough for you 80% of the time if not more okay so that would that would actually be my first choice and this one you can pick up for around 140, 150 euros, the 28 Pro Line 7. And uh, if you really need a big size, okay, and, and, and a lightweight pen, a lighter weight pen, then go with the Industry 5. Um, you know, just, but just make sure you, you, you are more vigilant with the heat control. Okay, so that's the comparison. Um, again, I hope that's been of uh, help to you. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video.